Hello and welcome back everybody. So today we're going to create a set uh, called Cities and we're going to add a new city to the set and then we're going to remove a city. So let's get started. So let's create the set Cities hey. Cities is equal to Tokyo Hmm. Oops. Tokyo, and we're going to have, uh, let's say, another city, Madrid. Okay, let's have another one, Berlin. Let's have another one, Delhi. Delhi, 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 Belly. Okay, so there we go. We've got cities there and now we are going to create a function called add city Which does what it says on the tin It adds the city It's exactly what it says on the tin So there you go add city. So we're going to create an entry for some user input Which is going to be input whoops input here <coughs> so we're going to ask the user to enter a city okay so now we'll go down onto the conditional so if entry in cities So if the entry that the user enters into here is already in the cities, we're going to have to print the user a message telling the user that the entry is already in the list. So the entry is already in that list. <coughs> So try again, so that's just going to be simply add city, okay, so simply add city. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give this a little bit of uh, a test run, make sure everything is working well. And this is what I suggest when you're coding is, even if you feel confident, don't try and write too much code. because. You do make state, mistakes, you make typos and stuff like that and uh, you know if you, if you spend a lot of time and then you suddenly run it and then it starts throwing errors it's uh, really it's not very good you know it's uh, not good for your confidence or anything like that so what I like to do is I like to write a little bit of code and then I like to test it and then write another little bit of code and test it so let's run the module here so enter a city let's have a look so Let's enter a city. That's something that's already in there, like Berlin. Okay. So entry is already in the list, and again, it takes us back to uh, add another city. So that's uh, all hunky dory, working fine. So let's uh, carry on, shall we? So now we're going to have to use the else. So cities <coughs> dot add entry. So we're now we're going to add the entry because it's not already <coughs> in there. So let's have a look. So cities dot add entry, and then we're going to print entry added. Okay, uh, and then we're going to print out cities. So we can see the entry actually went in there. So print cities. Okay. Right, so let's just uh, run that again. Let's run it now. Enter city. So let's add a new city let's say uh, London okay 
there we go so you can see all the old cities there and you can see here that it's added London so that's working okay so let's carry on to the next part the next part is to remove the cities and I'm going to write another function but we're just going to fly to it by I'm going to call it remove city remove city that's uh, very self-explanatory so remove city and we're going to create that little function under here called define remove city okay so this is going to be it remove city here right okay so we're going to start off with entry again is equal to input because we want to get some user input on this and we're just going to say remove city okay that's uh, remove city so the uh, user knows what it's all about if again entry in cities so if the entry that the user has typed into the input box is in the cities then we're going to remove it so cities dot remove entry so that's cities dot remove entry and just to make sure that the entry was sorry about that was removed we're going to print cities so we can see that it's actually been removed okay so let's just uh, save that okay before we can do that we're just gonna have to call it I'm gonna call it remove city here so remove city Okay, and the other entry here, I'm just going to take this out so it doesn't interfere with the execution of our programs. So let's just do that. Save, and we're going to run this. So let's have a look. Remove city, let's remove Madrid. Okay. So there we go. Uh, Delhi, Berlin, Tokyo, but no Madrid. So it's uh, working. Okay, we just got to. Uh, go down here and we're going to do the else okay so else print city is not in the list so if it's not in the list it'll print this out and we're going to say print try again and to try again we're just going to do remove city there we go so it'll go back up to the top and uh, let's give this a little shot so shall we we're just going to uh, start from here Okay, so let's just run it. Remove city, so I'm going to remove Berlin. Okay, Tokyo, Madrid, Delhi. Okay, so Berlin has gone. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's run it again. Let's uh, enter a city that isn't in the list. London. Okay, city is not in the list. Try again. Okay, so that's working all right. So uh, let's run it from the top, shall we? So we're going to do add city. Let's run it from the top. Uh, just save that. So first of all, we're going to enter a city. Whoops, what have we done there? Hey, where's that gone? Uh, it's there. Okay, so we're going to enter a city, so we're going to add a city, so I'm going to add London to that. Okay, so entry added, so we've got London there, so we can see that London's been added. Now we're going to remove a city, so I'm going to remove London, why not? 
Okay. There you go. London has been removed. So, Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. Remember to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in another video. Bye-de-bye.